Hi guys, Roseanne White from Love Fits, and I just recently released a new free ebook on Core Strong, which has in it five workouts to help you get a stronger core. And today I'll be taking you through one of five of the workouts. Today is floor core. So let's begin. We're going to be starting with bird dog, which means you're on your hands and your knees. So I'm going to go through the workout, the, each of the exercises one time, then we'll do the workout. The bird dog, your hands are under your shoulders, your hips are over your knees, you can curl the toes under, and the belly's pulled in, back is flat, neck is long. And what you'll just do is you'll extend your arm and extend the opposite leg, push straight out, and then bring the hand and knee back. So I like to start with my lip, arm first, then reach the leg out. Pause for a moment, bring the hand down and the knee down. It'll help you stabilize more. The second exercise is the glute bridge. And in the glute bridge, we just simply roll back, check to make sure your feet, this middle toe, knee, hip socket in line, shoulders are flat, hands are heavy at your side, or you can challenge yourself by reaching your hands to the sky. But in any case, Keep looking over your knees. Take a breath in to prepare. Press the tail, the, the belly button down, tailbone curls up and you roll all the way up until you feel your fingertips are reaching toward your heels, your heels pulling back toward the glutes. Hips are high. Take a breath in and then bone by bone, sink down, upper spine, middle spine, sacrum, tailbone until you get the arch in the back. And we'll repeat that. The next one is the dead bug. And I'm going to show you two variations of it. The first variation, dead bug, arms are up, shoulders heavy, legs are at tabletop. And we're going to alternate stretching out opposite hand and leg. So as I take my right arm back, left leg reaches out. And you come back to center. Now, left arm, right leg, come back to center, keeping the belly pressed in. Now, the other option is leg straight to the sky. A little harder for some of us, but you can give it a shot. Again, I'm gonna take opposite hand, opposite leg, pressing straight out. Bring it back in. Leg apart. Pause for a moment, take a breath in and feel your belly pulling leg and arm back in. One foot at a time comes down. So that is our bird dog. Now, panther shoulder taps, a little challenging for many of us, but it's worth the try. Try to start first with yourself in bridge. And you just tap opposite hand to opposite shoulder. So pretty easy to do. You can hover yourself off your knees and tap and tap. A little bit harder and there's another name for them I think they might call them suicide taps but you take one hand to the other and you've got to really push down in the opposite leg when you do that so three variations do the one that works for you and the last one the, uh, the next one the um, is the reverse crunch so two four there's six exercises close uh, total this is the fifth one reverse crunch and we roll down nice and slow. Neck is long, eyes gazing over the knees, hands heavy, tabletop one leg at a time. Squeeze your legs together and you press down and just feel the tailbone curling up. I don't want to use momentum in here, okay? So press down, exhale. You only go as far as works for you. But always start at a neutral, somewhat neutral, and then imprint, curl the tail, knees to the chest, hands heavy and you reach maybe you come all the way up if that works for you again find a range that works for you one leg at a time comes down and the final of this floor core series is the superman so it looks like this and i'll show you again pieces parts laying on the belly the forehead is on the floor. So I'm gonna be looking at you for a second, but I want your forehead on the floor. You can extend one leg and one arm, and I have my thumb up. Make sure you see thumb up, okay? So you can do it like this. 
alternate this one side and an alternate other side if that works for you. Again, it's always what works for your body, especially if you're new to this. But if you want a little bit more of an advanced, I like to have my thumbs up, shoulders pulled in, belly pulled in, and we're gonna take legs and arms up, breathe, and then rest down. So engage through the glutes, reach through the toes, reach the fingertips and lift. I'm not lifting my head, I'm just lifting my limbs and then I lower down. And that's your Superman's. Now, that's how the exercises are done. We're gonna go ahead with the workout. In each of this, these workouts, I'm suggesting anywhere between one to three in the circuit, one to three times around. And uh, you want to maybe rest about one to two minutes between circuits. Today, we're just going to go through one circuit. So we start with our bird dog, okay? There are going to be a total of five reps alternating legs. So take a breath into repair, and we're going to reach out. Remember I said hand, then leg. Belly pulled in. And exhale and back in. Neck long, tail reaching away from the crown of the head. Glide all the way up. I like to have my thumb up, I don't get in my shoulder that way, or my neck, last one. Stretch and stretch. Excellent. You can take a child's pose just to release your back. Now we go into the glute bridge. So now you are on your back. We're gonna go into this, and you have um, 15 reps. So if that's too much for you in the beginning, go five, go 10. And I'm gonna start with hands heavy. Take a breath in, line everything up. Peel up, exhale. Stay at the top, inhale. Exhale, roll down. That's one. Inhale and exhale. Pause at the top. Make sure your knees aren't waving out and roll down. And you curl up. You get those hips high, roll down. I'm gonna add some addition to this after we do the first five. Just kind of warm things up. Neck is long, eyes over the chest. And here's the fifth one. Remember, we're doing 15. Make sure you're not looking at the screen, you're looking over your chest. You want your spine in great alignment here. We can add on to this by putting the hands on the ribs, elbows off the mat. Take a breath in and roll up. Breathe in and roll down. You can really feel how your hip bones roll to the ribs and you lift up. You want to lift your hips into your fingertips. Feel your knees reaching over the ankles as you roll down bone by bone. And exhale. Roll back down. Always give yourself a little air time to hang up there and really make those glutes and abs pull in. You're not popping your ribs up. We'll do one more. This is 10 and then we're gonna add on a different variation. Feel your shoulder blades flat even though your elbows are not on the floor. Now, I'm gonna reach my hands up to the sky. Inhale, exhale, curl up. Arms will go overhead for a moment. That's the inhale. Bring them back, exhale, roll down. Take an inhale, prepare, exhale, roll up. Inhale, arms reach overhead, lift higher. Arms come back, exhale, and roll down. Just three more to go, guys, hang in there. Breathe in, breathe out. Lift higher to roll down bone by bone. Last two, we curl it up. Feel each hip evenly lifting. Arms stretch overhead without popping your ribs. You want to keep the ribs anchored. Anchor firmly into the shoulder blades and roll down between the shoulder blades all the way to the tail. Last time. The inhale prepares you, the exhale rolls you up. Once you're there, stretch, big stretch from Fingertips to toes, arms come up, and you roll yourself down. Now, from here, we're, since we're down here, we're going to go into dead bug. And in the dead bug, we're going to alternate five reps. So I'll do a couple with the knees back and a couple with legs straight. 
Tabletop your legs, arms to the sky. It, right arm, left leg. Bring it in. And opposite. Always pause. Exhale, push away. Imprint the belly button toward the spine. I'm driving my heels away from my fingertips. If you like to point your toes, you can certainly do that. So for the last two, we're gonna up the ante a little bit. It's gonna be a stretch of leg and arm and pull it back in. And then switch. One more time. Hips are heavy. And back. Bend the knees, one leg at a time comes down. And right from here, we'll go into our shoulder taps. So bring yourself up. I'm gonna be on my on the hover the whole time with the shoulder taps. We're doing five reps each side. So remember, I showed you you can be on your stay on your knees or you can be in plank. But let's just do the the hover. Okay, so we're hover. Here's our our panther hover. Here's one. Pause. Two. Three. Four. Hands go right under the shoulders and five, and bring it down. And we go right from here into reverse crunches. So we've got 15 reverse crunches. Don't use a lot of momentum in this. Make it all core straight. Sometimes I even like to put a ball between my thigh bones or a towel to get that connection of pelvic floor. So tabletop your legs, squeeze legs together. Inhale, exhale, one. All the way, nice and controlled. Shoulders flat, two. Three. I'm going to add on a little bit to the sequence as well. Four. Get broad across the chest. You can even have gunslinger arms. A little harder. Five. Six. Adding on. Push out legs as far as you want to, keeping the belly flat. Exhale, press it out. And you can always do one leg at a time. So just extend one leg, bring it in, reverse it, bring it out. Okay, I'm going to do both legs again. This is 10. I think I might have lost count, but what's a natural look among friends? All the way up. If you got it, you can extend your legs for a moment, bend the knees and bring it back. A little more challenging, push it out. Okay, we've got four more. Extend and roll. And back to the plain old vanilla ones for the last three. They can be little, maybe even hands behind the head. A little more challenging, I don't get up as high, but I'm pushing my head down. Last two. And last one. So a lot of variation, do what works for you. And then from here, we're gonna go into our uh, supermans and we're only gonna do 10 reps. So we're gonna hold for about two seconds at the top of each movement, okay? The whole goal is to try to keep your belly in, so push your pubic bone down. And I'm gonna go into alternate arms for the first couple. So I'm gonna reach one arm, one leg, and switch. Hold for a second or two, and switch. We're not feeling in our back because we're pushing the pubic bone down. All the air out. We're lengthening through the spine. Okay, one more time, each alternating. As you warm the body up in this posture and work it, you'll feel you're going a little higher. That's four. And here we go, legs and arms, hold. Five, rest for a second. Engage the glutes, stretch the legs. Reach wide. Your Superman flying or Superwoman here. And you got three more. Make them good, make them count. I'm not worrying about kicking my feet up, it's my thigh bones that are lifting up and my arm bones. 
Last one, guys. Big breath in, pull the belly in, and reach, reach, reach. You can do a little flutter kick if you want to add on for finale. And release. Push back into a child's pose. And you are done. So that was our floor core. I hope you enjoyed that workout. Make sure you're hydrated, warm up a little bit, just a few things to get your body going. And if you need any stretches later after the workout, make sure you take those too. Thanks for joining me. Got any questions, concerns, you can always hit me up at info at livefit, L-I-V-F-I-T-T.com.